Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and in today's video, guys, we're going to be looking at the brand new Flareon GX that just came out. Um, there's also Vaporeon and Jolteon, which we're going to try and cover. Uh, Jolteon especially is going to be the one I think you guys should be trying to stock up on, because Jolteon is going to be really good when we get Zapdos and Jirachi. I think Jolteon GX is a good time. I mean, all three of these, honestly, are good. Flareon, Vaporeon and Jolteon GX are actually good cards. I don't think either of them are bad. I think they're all pretty decent in their own rights. Jolteon is probably the best of the three because of how good it is with Electro Power. It can like turn one donk. It's insanely good. Um, so let's take a look at the one. The first one we're gonna be looking at is Flareon. We're gonna be looking at Jolteon tomorrow. Um, Jolteon's not really too special right now because we actually don't have Zapdos or Jirachi or Coco Prism yet. So Jolteon isn't really as good as it will be in like a, in the next set, but we're gonna be definitely looking at trying to look at all three of them. And I want to give a special shout out to Mini UK for lending me these two Flareons to borrow for a video. I mean, these are cards that are worth quite a bit right now on pubs. Um, you can buy codes too off of websites. I use Card Cavern to get my Jolteon. Which, again, I would recommend stocking up on Jolteons because they're probably going to be a lot more valuable come the next set. Because um, Jolteon will probably end up winning a tournament or something. So let's look at what Flareon does. So Flareon is a stage 1 fire type Pokemon with the attack heat stage. 1 for 30, you may attach up to 3 fire energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. So that's actually not bad. As an early attack, you can get damage on the board. And you can also use this with Fiery Flint to put fire energies in your hand. I have two builds of Flareon GX that I want to look at. Uh, Mini UK's build, um, he offered to make. He offered. He's like, "Oh, check this out." So I'm gonna make a video on that build too because, hey, content's kind of dry. So my specs I can make, I'll take it. Um, but the one I wanted to look at right away was immediately Blaziken and Flareon. And then Flareon's main attack, Bright Flame, does 190 damage for three energies, and then you discard two fire energies from this Pokemon. So. That's good. 190 is great numbers. This is probably the strongest fire attack we have on a non-Sage 2 fire type right now. That's kind of like the Volk, Turdinator, Ho-Oh type of card. So 190 is great. Uh, obviously with a choice band you can do 220, which one shots most Pokemon. You're actually 10 short in Gardevoir, which is hilarious, but Bright Flame hits really good numbers. I think an expanded Flareon has a lot of potential with Blacksmith, but yeah, this is... A good attack. Now unfortunately in standard fire acceleration is pretty awful. The only ones we have again is Blaziken and like Kiawe, uh, which you can play Kiawe with Flareon because you can just evolve an Eevee into a Flareon on your first turn. So Bright Flame does good numbers. Power Burner is not bad either. For one fire you do 20 damage for each fire energy in your discard pile. Not terrible. Um, if you have like six in your discard pile you can do like 120. So for one energy it's not bad. It's good in the late game I guess. Um, now, obviously, we did get a new Eevee, too. We did get a new Eevee. We got a new Eevee GX here. Unfortunately, I don't think it's very good. It's, like, the only thing that I can kind of see, like, I want to make a point here with why I don't think Eevee is that great. Um, so, Eevee GX has a good GX attack, actually, and a ability that basically states once turn turn before you attack, if you have a Pokemon in your hand that evolves from Eevee, you may put that card... Um, on this Pokemon to evolve Eevee if you do remove all damage counters from Eevee. So like the idea with this ability is is you want to like if Eevee is taking heavy damage like if you're against a spread or a shrine deck right that's like using Giratina or Coco or Decidueye and Shrine of Punishments you can heal your Eevee into a Jolteon or Vaporeon or Sylveon or Flareon whatever. The problem with this ability is, Eevee will be on the bench most of the time. You're not going to have, you have to wait for the right moment to evolve Eevee, right? And Eevee will be on your bench. Eevee is a 160 HP Pokemon, so it's a very easy target. It's basically just like having a Layla on your bench. And that's why I don't think Eevee is that great of a card. I mean, Energy Evolution is just 20 times better. So sadly, Eevee GX isn't that great. Though, you know what, I think it could be like useful in Sylveon. But yeah, outside of that... We're going to be using the Energy Evolution because it's better. So yeah, the partner I've went with Flareon is Blaziken. Blaziken's got the ability Firestarter. Once during your turn before you attack, you may change a Fire Energy from your Skrapal to one of your bench Pokemon. Want to use this ability to obviously build up Flareon's attack 
So that's basically the idea of this deck is just Flareon and this. You can also use Blaziken GX in here too, which is a nice attacker. Also, since you can have Blaziken, one of the problems with Blaziken it is a stage two Pokemon, so it's you know a little bit harder to build up or get into play. It's not like Malamar where it's like a stage one. So everything else in this deck is kind of simple. I am playing one Oranguru, one Turnator, one Lele. There's a lot of other cards you have to play in here outside of like Blaziken, so it's kind of hard to make room. Um, but really, outside of that, this is um, basically the list that I've gone with. Uh, Turnators in here. We have Nitro Tank as a backup GX tag, and we also have like Bright Flame as a nice backup attacker. So that's basically it. There's some other fire types you can play: Ho-Oh, Reshiram, but I don't think it's as good with Blaziken because it takes much energy. Um, now we go into the items. We got two Acrobikes, great card to uh, you know search your deck for stuff potentially, and also get energy. The discard. I'm playing like Escape Rope, one switch, two Tain Lizes, a lot of switching cards because you want to like little switch into your Flareons and stuff like that. I mean, Blaze again can also attack too. You can't attack with Flareon. You can always attack with Fire Stream. It's actually a good attack. It does 90 discard a fire from this Pokemon. It does 20 damage to each your points bench Pokemon. And again, we have Blaze again GX. So we have a lot of good fire type attacking options. And all these switching cards, obviously, you discard energy. You have to switch. So there you go. Just one Heat Factory, of course, because it's Heat Factory. Uh, four Ultra Balls. We'll search for your Pokemon. One Stretcher. Four Candies. I am playing a Fiery Flint. Uh, not a great card in this deck, obviously, but it could be useful. Getting four fires in your hand if you have like an Ultra Ball or two could be really nice. Um, get energy in the discard. I like having one of these. I think it's a useful tech. I am playing one Ace Rolla to be able to heal. Four Cynthias. Three Lilies. I am playing three Guzmas. A little heavy on the Guzmas. I am playing two Elms. Uh, really good to pull off a turn one Elms with this deck because we can get Torchics and Eevees online. Two Tain Lizas to be able to switch. Three Choice Bands and ten Fire Energies. Yeah, this is my... Flareon Blaziken deck. I um, think this deck is fun to play. Is it very competitive? I don't know. I don't really think Flareon has what it takes to be a good, super competitive deck in Standard, unfortunately. Expanded Flareon, I think, has a lot more potential than in Standard, but in Standard, it's a little weak. Um, but yeah, let's go find some matches with it here. Alright guys, go play some Flareon games here. Excited to try it out. Don't think I'll be able to get this Flare Kiawe though, though it would be nice, I guess, to have another Flare Kiawe. Um, but yeah, there is another build of Flareon that I might look at using, like, Kiawe and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely we'll probably make a video on that. But I am excited to try this there. We're up against a fighting deck, it looks like. So, we'll see how we do. Flareon does do 190, so if it's a Buzzwool GX, we obviously can one-shot Buzzwool fairly easily with Flareon. So that's nice. And, alright. We got a pretty bad starting hand. I mean, we do have Eevee, so we can go into Flareon at least. But outside of that, this is not that great of a hand. My opponent will mulligan, though. That will hopefully help us out a little bit. We get a look at what he's playing. Yeah, it looks like it's a Boswell deck. So I think Boswell is going to be a bit of a back and forth game. But you know what? We could do good enough numbers, I think, that Boswell is not a big problem, I think. I think we can try and win. I think Boswell is very winnable. Sorry, Flint, not helping. Hey, there we go. So that is helping. So we can evolve into Flareon. Uh, we won't be able to attack him next turn, which is the problem. Flareon's first attack can build up anything, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I could use this with um, Fiery Flint. I don't know. I'm going to play a Choice Band, I guess, on Flareon. We'll go Cynthia. Really just looking for, like, anything, honestly. I don't really know what I'm looking for specific. Four supporters is not really what I was looking for. Spawn so with Flareon, it is actually a bit of a slower card to build up. So, that's one of the problems with it, is it is a bit of a slower card. But, Heat Stage is a great first attack. And uh, the build that my friend offered used Heat Stage and, like, Kiawe's to, like, build up your Pokemon. So, definitely want to consider trying that out. I'm just going to Ultra Ball away a Beast Ring. The choice ban means he's actually going to hit me decently hard. He's going to get Diancy. He didn't get rid of a supporter, right? So that last card is a Lily. <laughs> I always know it's a Lily, bro. I always know. <sighs> okay, what can we do? We can Elms... 
I don't hate Elms, to be honest. Can we get a rare candy? No. So we have our other Flareon. We did prize a Blaziken. Uh, we got other candies. Got all the fires. I kind of want to do Elms. But I'm not really getting anywhere if I do Elms Lecture. Though I'm not getting knocked out next turn, which is actually a good thing. I can maybe ace roll though. I think it might just be better to attack him. I kind of want to do the elms though. But you gotta remember, I gotta watch out for Dangerous Rogue. Just gotta feel confident here. We got Combuskin. Alright, that's looking a bit better. We'll do Acrobike first. Alright, we'll grab Torchic. Choice Band might be needed for Lycanroc because it's got 200 HP. Whatever. We'll just evolve. We don't need to go Blaze again. We can wait till next turn. We'll just do Heat Stage. I don't know. This isn't too great. This is the problem with Flareon. It's a little bit slower to build up compared to the other Evolutions, where they can attack a lot easier because there's more support. Like thanks to Aqua Patch, Quagsire. All Flareon really has is its attack and Kiawe and like Blaziken. But we don't have any of those, so it's not gonna work out. Kikui, okay. Not gonna lie, I don't want to lose Flareon. But I can't really do Ace Rolla because I can't really go into anything. So there is a bit of an underlying issue here. I mean, I guess it could retreat, maybe. I don't know. This is pretty bad. All right, we have 30 HP, so we can get Jet Punch. Another Torchic. I guess it's good Discard Bait. Rid of the rare candy, just get Blaziken. Might want to build up a Blaziken GX though. Might be more of an MVP. So I could retreat, Ace Roll up, but I don't have an energy in my hand. Actually, that wouldn't make sense. I might just have to retreat. Maybe go into Blaziken. He's only doing 50. Alright, rip, we did not get a rare candy. We did fire and fire energy though. So we can go into another Flareon. Hmm. Don't know what I want to go into. I'm tempted just to go into this guy. I mean, it is possible he'll Dangerous Rogue me, though, so there is a big problem with that. I think I have to. We'll have to just hope we hit a switching card. I guess I could do Tame Lies next turn. Or Guzma. Yeah, we could do Guzma. Mm -mm. Yeah, maybe I should have built this guy. But again, he's got 30 HP. He's not living. I don't know. He can always drop a like and rock and knock him out anyway. So even if I wanted to build him up, it wouldn't have mattered. So it's probably better just to build up this Flareon. But we did lose our other choice band, and I do want to maybe knock out Lycanroc here. Because Lycanroc is a very annoying threat. Dangerous Rogue is not fun to play against because you can't bench anything. And when your deck is all about benching Pokemon, it becomes a big problem. So Lycanroc is a huge pain in the side. He's gonna knock me out. Yeah. I mean, we can knock him out with Bright Flame. Which I'm fine with. Uh, maybe not. We'll have to do a Guzma. I don't know. This is not great. Not gonna lie. This is not great. This is not very good, folks. As you can tell, we are not in a good spot. I mean, I could knock him out with Bright Flame. And then get Dangerous Rogue for... Well, no, he would just need a Choice Band. And Dangerous Rogue would indeed knock me out. Oh, no, wouldn't I have 10 HP? Ripped. I thought he was doing... I thought I only had 200. I'm not Jolteon. Oh, what matters. So, I can goose my the Lycanroc now. Do Bright Flame. Not knock it out. Um, I could knock out the Diancy, Which, I guess, wouldn't be too bad either.
knock out Slugma so we can't get Macargo. I could I knock out the active? I don't know. I really wish I had like an Ace Roller right about now. I mean, hmm, this is pretty annoying. I don't really know what to do. Maybe you just have to Guzma the Lycan Rock up. Wish I could knock it out. We do have another Choice Band, right? Yeah, we do, but it's not in our hand, as you can tell. It's like, Guzma the Diancie. I don't know. Dangerous Rogue, man. This That attack is so annoying. Hmm. If I had a better hand, I could maybe try and set up Lycanroc. I mean, he has 10 HP. I could so I could just knock him out like a pet. Maybe I just bring Lycanroc up now. There's n I mean, he could KO me with like a QE choice band attached. But we might be able to do something with Bright Flame. We could maybe knock him out like pet. I don't think we could we could try a Fire Stream play, but we would need. We'd need a rare candy and then somehow get an energy. Fire Stream would be a good idea, though, if we could knock him out of that. I mean, just gotta hope he isn't playing, like, Ace Roller or something. If I can find energy, though, he'll get KO'd by Torchic. Or we could just knock him out with Heat Stage, but we'll already be heavily damaged. Probably better to retreat. He's actually gonna goose on my Lele. Okay. Hmm. He's gonna Dangerous Rogue me. Well, we just wanted to worry about dangerous, dangerous, dumb anymore. I don't know. I was trying to find a, a funny name, but it's not going to work because, I mean, it's probably game over. I mean, what are we going to do? I, dangerous Rogue is such a, such a useless attack. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Dangerous Rogue is one of the worst things ever. Probably better to try and tack with him with Blaziken here, but I don't think we'll be able to do that. Yeah, there's no way. We can probably retreat next turn though, which seems fine. I don't think Buzzwell knocks me out. He'd have to do a lot to KO me. We'll just play this. Actually, I could have grabbed the Eevee. Whatever. One we'll struck for two. Looking for probably Rare Candy and a supporter. No more energies. That's fine. We can actually just attach those. So, Lycanroc is dealt with, which is good. How many fires on the discard? So, we'll put one here. I guess one in the active. Ultra Ball and Guzma. Since we lost Lele, I mean, we could maybe get a stretcher. Like, it would be really good here to Ace roll up my Flareon. I don't think he KOs me, like... We, we do have a lot of HP. Sledgehammer is doing... He's doing a lot. If he plays like a QE, I think he KOs me because he has a beast energy on. So he has to like a QE. I think he knocks me out with Sledgehammer. If not, our goal might be try to ace roll a Flareon. And then we can start attacking with the Blaziken here. Won't KO him, unfortunately, because he actually has enough HP to take a hit. Ooh, we benched a Buzzwool. We could also target that. He might actually just win with Knuckle Impact, actually. He would need a Choice Band, and he could Knuckle Impact KO me. Never mind, just gonna spread out the energy. Cynthia, I'm pretty sure we're living. I'm not, I'm not, I can't be bothered to do the math. I think we're surviving the turn, though. But I don't think it's gonna matter. If we don't heal Flareon, we lose anyways, so it really won't make a difference. Won't make a difference. Let's see what we can do. We just, like, Ace Rolla would be beautiful. If we can Ace Rolla, it's awesome. Yeah, 10 HP! Just barely living. We did find an escape rope. I don't think that makes a difference, to be honest. I think we're losing. I think I think we lost, honestly. I don't know what we can do at this point. I really don't. I don't think we can do anything to win. 
Can we get Ace Roller? No. No Ace Roller. So we lose because he just check punches me. <sighs> That's annoying. Pretty unfortunate loss. But this is why I don't think Flareon is that great. Like, in the long run, is it really that good? Not really. It's more of just like a rogue type of card, yeah. That, I... I don't like losing, but... Ah, that, I hate losing to Lycanroc sometimes. Lycanroc is so annoying. I mean, if we if we were able to, like, Ace Rolla or Flareon, though, we might have been okay. But, again, Blaziken just wasn't doing good numbers. So, I don't know. That game was a lost cause. I think, really, we just couldn't do much. I uh, will do another game. We're up against a Lightning deck. Maybe Jolteon, because he's got them Jolteon sleeves, so... This might be a Jolteon deck. Could be Jolteon versus Flareon. That would be pretty exciting. Let's see what we start with. We're going to Mulligan. Hopefully we get a turn out. So he is playing Jolteon. Okay. So Jolteon is, once again, going to be interesting. It's going to be a bit of a war. Flareon can one-shot Jolteon, though. Jolteon is going to struggle to one-shot Flareon. And we can even attack with Blaziken GX. So this matchup might be okay. Got to remember, Jolteon does not have access to... Ooh, that's actually a really nice hand. Double Torchic and the Eevee start. As long as we evolve Eevee into Flareon. We got the Elm's top deck. Not bad. We're going to have to play Cynthia, though, because I need an energy to evolve. <laughs> we whiffed energy, dude. I don't even think this deck wants me. I don't even think this deck likes me. <laughs> this deck does not like me, apparently. I did not even find an energy. Are you... That's a, that's a joke. Wow. This deck does not like me at all. Who knows? Maybe Eevee survives. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I mean, might be better. He is going to hit me like a truck, though, I guess. If he finds the energy electro power. That's why Volkner is so good with Jolteon. Because you, you get the Jolteon and you get the electro power. Ooh, he's playing EVGX. That could be a very easy two-prize knockout. Uh, Zeraora is also an easy two-prize, thanks to uh, 190. Oh, he did not find it. That is great. Okay, well. I don't even know if I want to evolve the active. Actually, yeah, I do. I think it's still good to attack with it. Maybe we can find, like, a Fiery Flint here and do a nice big heat stage. No, okay. Oh, I should have done Heat Factory. Oh, my gosh. All right, who cares? We'll just do this. Never mind, Ranguru's prize. We'll get combustion. No, we'll get Lele. Should check if Ranguru's prized. Whatever. We'll just heat stage him. I should have probably done heat factory there, but whatever. I did just get rid of two switching cars, so that's not a good that's not, that's not a good thing. But we'll see what we can do. We avoided the donk, which is good. Playing how? Interesting. But again, like Volkner with Eevee. Is, or Jolteon is such a good combo. I think it's a Strike. Uh... This will be a nice matchup, though, because it's literally the war between a Flareon and a Jolteon. Well, hopefully we're able to pop off here this turn. You can hit me kind of hard. I don't even know if I want to play this Heat Factory, because I kind of want to save it. He had double Electro Power, bruh. I'm actually scared of a Swift Run now, not going to lie. Because if he can get Thunder Mountain, he will be able to pull that off. I don't even know if I want to play this, because I don't want him to play a Thunder Mountain. Then I have no way to counter that. Alright, what do we do? Okay, we're going to have to probably do Cynthia. Mm, not great. I want to play this down now. Not, I think we have to, honestly. I really am scared of Thunder Mountain, but I don't know if I have a choice. Okay, there we go. That's actually really good. 
We got the Blaziken online. We got Heat Factory. Fiery Flint. Get four energies out of the deck. Okay, this is good. We're gonna get knocked out, probably by his GX attack though, which is not good. So I think what I'm going to try and do is just attack with Blaziken here. Because we're going to get knocked out by his GX attack, Swift Run. Blaziken can more than likely take a hit from Jolteon at this point. Now this way, at least what we can do is we can hit his bench. And it's relevant, especially hitting this thing. Or he'll just knock me out with his first attack, which would be fine because we can probably still knock him out with Bite Flame. Actually, we can if we, we have to retreat. Yeah. Alright, he's got an Electro Bullet, so he's actually going for that. Interesting. That's his last, that's one of his last Electro Powers. I, I kind of have, just to play it safe, just because I don't draw the energy, I kind of have to go Blaziken. Nice! Top deck. Might not be a bad time to go Blaziken GX. Cynthia. Let's see what this gives us. Yeah, we didn't get the energy, so I'm glad I did that. I did. Could knock him out Flareon. I am going to be in trouble, though, if he KOs me himself. If he gets a return KO, I might actually be in a lot of trouble. So, I really hope he doesn't get the return KO, because we might be in trouble. We do have a Guzma, though. So maybe we can get something off our prizes to support that. Ace Rolla works, I guess. This does let us attack with Firestream. I gotta hope we survive. We have 150 HP, so he's gonna need a choice band and one last Electro Power to finish me off. Let's play three Electro Powers, so we gotta hope for the best. Or he gets a QE. Yikes. That will let him do 130. Now he just needs a choice band and an Electro Power to knock me out. Will he find it? Let's find out. He has double zip strike us. So these odds are very low that he will get it. Or will not. He will get it. Yeah, he's going to hit it. He's going to knock me out. If he doesn't knock me out, this is a huge turn. Please don't knock me out. Tell me Flareon survives. Nope. Rip. <sighs> this game is going nowhere, man. This game is going nowhere. Flareon, man, you're underperforming. Like, what's going on? Flareon is just not liking me, man. Really wish he had an energy, too, to attach. We don't. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't know what we can do, man. Honestly. <laughs> Our hand's pretty bad. I don't know. I thought I had faith in this deck, man, but no, apparently not. This deck apparently just sucks. Flareon is getting destroyed by its brother Jolteon, or sister. Don't know which, don't know which is which, but... Flareon definitely is the worst out of the three evolutions. It definitely is. Yeah, I don't think Flareon is that good, guys. I think an expanded Flareon has potential because it's really good with Blacksmith, and Flareon does good numbers in expanded, but in standard, it's just... It just can't work. But Blaziken should be safe this turn, though, which is good. But again, we are playing against another deck that can do sniping damage. 
so that's awesome. But hopefully we can just draw a fire energy here, man. Please, can I draw a fire? No. Actually, no, it doesn't matter, right? We have our candy. Okay, so what I can do is I can do Guzma here. Which is good. I can Guzma knock out probably the other Jolteon. I don't know which one. Probably the other Jolteon. And our road to winning is going to be with this boy. We might as well do this. We're out of Guzmas, though, but we can try and win Blaziken. I think, actually, if we draw Flareon next turn, we might be able to win. So Blaziken might be the MVP here, folks. As long as somehow he doesn't knock out Lele next turn, we might be able to win. What's our prize is going to be? No energy. But Ultra Ball, I think, does confirm the win here because I have a Srola. So as long as he doesn't win this turn, I think we actually have game. I think we have. Unless he, like, judges me, but I'm pretty sure we have game. Just barely. I think we're just barely winning this. Man, Blaziken GX, though, is the true MVP. He's gonna Electro Power. And Choice Band. There's no way he's gonna finish me off, so we're safe. He's scarring a lot of his cards, though, with Sprint. Yeah, so we win. We just Ace Rolla, go into Flareon. All is good. All is good in Pokemon Bill. Pretty close game, not gonna lie. <laughs> Pretty close game. I don't know, maybe Flareon, maybe the fact that we're closing this game out, maybe Flareon does have some kind of clout or credit. I don't know. I don't know. I still think Flareon is the worst. It's too clunky, too much to work with, but, like, the fact that we were able to beat a speedy deck like Jolteon makes me pretty happy. I don't know. I was kind of in the slump during this match, but you know what? I don't know. Maybe there is something to Flareon that, you know, it's just hidden potential. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is good. Maybe it is a good card. I don't know. Flareon, who knows? Maybe it's good. Pretty good game. Blaziken GX proved to be like the real MVP there. Um, but now I'm loving why I have a Soul of the Day. But yeah, I do think Jolteon is a really good card. Wow, this is a very aggressive Jolteon. <laughs> he's got four, he's got six EVs, bro. He's good. Wow. But yeah, I am excited for the next set for Jolteon. And we're definitely going to be doing a Jolteon video soon. So I'll see you guys in a minute with probably another game with our Jolteon deck. So I'll catch you guys in a sec. Alright guys, we'll do another game with the deck. After that pretty close finish, I don't know. This deck is fun to play. I think if you don't get Blazikins online, the deck gets shut down pretty badly. But I don't know. I'm having fun with the deck. At the very least. Alright, looks like we're up against potentially... Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of different types in this deck. Might be Malma. Alright, so we do win the coin flip. That's good. Alright, see if we get a good start in hand. Nope. I am considering cutting down on the Elms, though, in all honesty. I think two is a bit too much, but it's still really good to get, like, multiple Torchics online. Because the more Torchics you get, the more potential Blazikins you get going. So, I like having the two Elms, because we only play one Lele, so it's tricky. That's kind of why, like, this, I don't know, Blaziken just can't work, but, I don't know. Alright, let's see what this new hand will be. Nice. I like you. Got a Torchic. Alright, let's see what we're up against. I'm assuming it's like Malamar. I saw Dragon, Psychic, and Lightning. So I don't know. Anything is possible, I guess. We'll see. We do have a decent start in hand, though, which is good. Okay, so it's playing... I, I, I don't know. I still don't know. Ooh, we prized a Flareon. We prized a Torchic, too. We have all our Blazikins. We have all our Candies. Got our Choice Bands. We have our... Fire energies. Okay, so what did we prize? We prized an Eevee. We prized a Torchic. And we prized for Tapu Lele. Oof. Those are actually some pretty bad prizes, to be honest with you. Well, Acrobike, see what we can do. 
Nice, we got an energy in the discard. I like that. We'll play Cynthia. Hopefully we get a couple Torchics here, or at the very least a Rare Candy for next turn. There's Rare Candy. Not a great hand. I might actually have to Tate and Liza because this hand is like really awkward. Hopefully we can draw Blaziken though. Hopefully we can draw Blaziken. We'll see. We'll see what happens next. I wouldn't mind like you can obviously like play like a Dawn Wings in this deck too. I don't really like playing Dawn Wings in these type of decks in the at, at the moment because Zoar just wrecks you, and you can't really use Dawn Wings against Zoar. So I don't know. Ooh, he's playing Grass. What Grass type could he be playing? Let's find out. Nope, this is a Rayquaza deck. Okay, never mind. Rayquaza, I think, is fine. We one shot it pretty easily, which is good. But if we don't get a quick s assault on this, we're gonna be in trouble. I don't know. Maybe it's better to build up a bench, like start not have not a flare on starting the active, and better on the bench. I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. See if we'll draw a Blaziken here. That would be amazing. It's gonna Cynthia. See if it gets any more rays. So what do I want to do? Do I want to Elms or do I want to do like Caden Liza? Like I don't know. Either one I don't think is that great, to be honest. Let's get another ray. It's gonna get built up fairly quick here, which is not good. Flareon's kind of a sitting duck at this point. It's gonna get rid of a muck and a Nicanadel. He, is he gonna marsh out on me, maybe? He is? Okay. I'm actually fine with that. If I can get a better hand than this, that would be great. Okay, got rid of another Poipool. Looks like a Lily. He's down two Guzmo, so that's actually not bad either. I kind of like that. So he is gonna marsh out on me. I'm fine with this. I'm hoping this hand is good. Why did I even bother asking? All right, well, we got Blaziken, which is like not relevant, but not terrible. Like, that's just amazing. Poi pull. <sighs> can I please draw something? We'll see what we can draw. Oh man, this is not looking good though. This is not looking good. Turnator. At least we can attack with it. And it's not terrible against Ray, because Bright Flame with a Choice Band one shots. Other than that, we got a bad hand. I was I was very optimistic about that Mars Shadow. So I was like, alright, let's just give me a new hand. I'll probably get a good hand out of it, but no. I'm stuck doing Heat Stage. Yay! It doesn't help me price lately, but still. This is pretty bad. He might not even attack me next turn, though. We'll have to see if he hits, like, an energy switch. If Flareon is safe this turn, that would be pretty good, but... I doubt it. I doubt it. He's probably going to attack me. He's playing Wish of Batons, too. At least it's not Ray Vigal. Could have been worse. He's gonna stretch her for that Rayquaza. We might actually shuffle, because he does- No, he's gonna get Rayquaza. I was gonna say, because he has like a Nagandel and stuff in the discard, but... He's just gonna get Rayquaza. See what he discards. Choice Band, another Nagandel. That's not bad. I mean, the less Nagandels, the better, I guess. Nope, there's Energy Switch. I mean, we're just gonna lose if we don't draw anything. That's just amazing. Now I see why people want Marshadow banned. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think Marshadow needs to be banned. I don't think Marshadow is a bad card for a ban. I think it's actually good that we have some kind of disruption-y shuffle type of effect and standard in the form of an ability. Because the only one we really have outside of that is like Lele, which just gets you a supporter. So I'm fine with Marshadow. Maybe expanded Marshadow is a little busted with Delinquent and Peking Red card, but in standard, there is nothing wrong with it. And yeah, we're in trouble. 
that's literally not even helping because yeah okay we have a ranguru at least kind of sucks to lose that rare canyon stretcher though especially because we're going to probably get knocked out here um it is possible to maybe knock him out we would need like an insane amount of cards yeah unless we can like hit switch energy all kinds of stuff maybe okay we didn't We're just going to go under Ranguru. Would have been nice to build a Flareon here. This is the issue with this deck. We don't have a good reliable way to go to the bench. And maybe you do want to play Dalman for this deck. Because you might need that switch effect. But my logic is you set up good enough. You can kind of just keep chaining through your bench and your active. But yeah. It's not looking like that's the case today. I don't know. I think, I think Flareon Blaziken just needs a bit too much setup. That's why this card does not see that much play right now. It's a stage two, and it takes too much to build up. So it's just not that great. I've got ten cards left. And before I mill, I might actually be able to stall this guy. He's played two of his Guzmans. I don't even know what I want to bring up. It might be, I, I don't know, I don't know honestly what I'm doing, but, yeah, great rare candy. We don't have any energy in the discard, though. If we can heat factory into a switch and another energy, that would be pretty good. No. No, we didn't. We did get an energy, though. As you can probably tell, guys, this is not very good. It would be nice just to hit a switch. This is why I play a lot of switching cards. We can fire a Flint. Might have been a bad idea, but I don't know if we even want to do it really next turn. I don't really think we're going to win this at this point. And this, is the, this is the issue with Flareon. It does not have the best acceleration, and it's not as turbo-like like Jolteon. So it's kind of just stuck being really slow and awkward. So, there you go. Maybe I could have built up a Blaziken. I don't know. I don't think it matters. I'll right, we'll see what we can do. Maybe I should have built up a Blaziken instead of Flareon. I wasn't really thinking. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can still build a Blaziken anyways, so it's not a big deal. So I guess I should have played that a little bit better and built up a Blaziken instead of a Flareon. My bad. Whatever. I might even just Guzma one of these Rayquazas, though. I don't know. He's got way too much energy in play, though. But I might. I am tempted to knock out one of these Rayquazas with Flareon. I mean, yeah, I think actually that might be a better play. And then, yeah, we can build up Blaziken, and then this thing can get knocked out. Because I don't know if he's going to be attacking me with Rayquaza. So I guess he actually can kill me with Naganadel. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? I think, I think we'll do it anyways. I don't know. This is bad. This is really bad, as you can tell. As you guys can see, this is not good. Actually, we got rid of our other stretcher, right? Yeah. We can't get flaring off the prizes, maybe. I might just try and go for Blaziken GX at this point. Plus, if I am able to wipe out enough energy, Blaziken might not be a big threat. No heat factory. That is a lot of supporters that I do not need. I 
Maybe I build up the torch egg. I don't know. This is this is really tough. I might just have to play aggressive with Blaziken for a minute. We could spread damage on this guy too, don't forget. We'll see if this works. The skateboard actually wouldn't be a bad option in this deck either, but Blaziken only has two retreat. We'll take our two prizes. We got T Liza and we got Lele. We do have our other Guzma, so I think I will try and knock him out with Firestream. He's probably gonna knock him out to Gandel because he does have turning point. And then he just needs one prize. So yeah, I don't really think we're winning this, but whatever. Well, actually, if we can evolve Torchic into a Blaziken some, like, quick enough, um, then he might not be able to use this Rayquaza is not built up at all. And he's not knocking me out with Naganadel. Interesting. If we had a way to bump the Wish of a Tom, we might be okay. But yeah, I, I don't think we're winning this. We're gonna try and come close, though. Yeah, I don't know. I think Flareon is just too slow and standard. Even with, like, support with Blaziken, it just doesn't work. Never mind, he just... It's the energy switch and the energy. Yeah, I don't know. We're definitely not winning this game. Blaziken could spread a little bit more, that'd be nice, because then this guy would at least be heavily damaged, but that's not the case. He's gonna Guzma? Okay. I guess. Hmm. I'm. Don't know why he did that. Hmm. There's no way I can attack with Flareon. Hmm. I guess I just knock him out Flareon and just, just go out on a limb and just. I guess except the fact that I lose and only but at least I got four prizes. Yeah, I think I don't have a choice. We'll just we'll just we'll go with honor. We'll go in honor. I mean if you didn't do that we would have had the turn to kill him with Blaziken, but whatever. Or attack Blaziken, but whatever. I didn't expect him to do that though. But I would have Guzma this Rayquaza with Blaziken next turn and then we might have been able to win the game if he didn't have a last Guzma, but he did, so I don't think it mattered. My game plan was try not to Guzma this up, build up for Flareon, and then just hope he doesn't take those last few prizes to win. I don't know. I think this deck might need some changes. Maybe Elm's Lecture can go, like, two of them might be too much, but it, again, I still like being able to build up multiple, uh, multiple, uh, things, you know? Multiple, um... Like, getting multiple Torchix in play. That's what I meant to say. It's really good. I don't know. Yeah, I just... I don't think Flareon is just too slow. It doesn't have great acceleration. I don't think Kiawe is the way to play it, so... Unfortunately, I think Flareon is the oddball out of the new GXs. It seems like Flareon is always a neglected one. Don't you think? Like, even in the video games, no one really goes for Flareon. It's always Jolteon and Vaporeon. I don't know. I think Flareon is good and expanded and standard's not great, but there is another Flareon deck I do want to look at. I don't even know if I found it. So there is another Flareon deck that I do want to look at. I might make a video on this version of Flareon. It's a little more aggressive and turboized, so we might look at that over the Blaziken version. But I wanted to play the Blaziken version because, you know, it's a cool build. And you know what? We at least got a nice win against Jolteon, which is, in which is really interesting because Jolteon is kind of like Flareon's opposite. So, thanks for watching today's Peace Joe video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, don't forget to subscribe to help me reach 4,000 subscribers. If you've not subbed to the channel already, again, make sure to help me reach 4K subs. I'll catch you guys in another Peace Joe video. Have a good day, and goodbye.